Okay, the machine we're going to talk about today is a Pace Kitty. The Pace Kitty was made around 1937. I think they only made them for a few years. They're fairly scarce machines. You don't see a whole lot of them around. Um, the Pace Kitty was similar to the Mills Futurity and the uh, Mills Bonus in that it had a, a gimmick associated with it to try to uh, keep a player playing a machine even if the machine wasn't paying off. And so what we'll do now is we'll zoom in on the mechanism and there is on the front of the machine and as I play it I'll describe uh, how the gimmick worked. So um, so that's, uh, that's basically the kitty and uh, we'll, uh, we'll zoom in and you can actually see it run. Okay here is a Pace Kitty. A Pace Kitty is a pretty unique machine because it's got a third special jackpot called the Kitty which is right here. On the first rail strip, there are a couple of black cats. Whenever a black cat comes up, the uh, coin is added to the kitty. If you lose ten times in a row, then the player would win whatever was in the kitty. So it was an incentive to keep a player playing a machine even though it was losing. As you can see, the meter's at zero right now because we did hit a winner of two cherries. Well, I'll go ahead and play it. Okay, there's a black cap, and a quarter was added to the kitty jackpot. We've lost one time in a row. Lost two times in a row. Another black cap came up, another coin added. We've lost three times in a row. Another black cap. So the kitty is getting to have quite a few quarters in it. Lost five times in a row. Six times in a row. Another black cat. So another quarter gets added to the kitty. We've lost seven times in a row. Lost eight times in a row. Another black cat. Another quarter gets added. We are now on pull number nine. If we lose this next pull, all the quarters in this kitty jackpot, we will win. Okay, we lost ten times in a row. The kitty jackpot tripped, and the uh, meter went back to zero.